Howdy, I am back. I am back with the Simcoe. Let me pour glass two here. And the last glass. Let's pour the end of the bottle. Uh oh, don't come. <laughs> there we go. That poured beautifully. Look how that pours. I do like the way these pour these glasses. That's a beautiful color. Look at that kind of a copper esque color there. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look how thick that head is. I don't know if that translates to the screen, but man, that is a thick head. That sounded dirty, Tom. Oh, wow. The aromas are brutal good and in very different. Um, I swear to you, I swear to you, I am not losing my mind <laughs> other than, you know, what you know. Uh, I swear I'm smelling peppermint. I shit you not. Big pine, big citrus, grapefruit specific, uh, which is uh, what they describe as a taste like with a minty aftertaste on the palate. Yeah, you do get slightly, but I, I am really smelling, I'm getting a lot of aroma of peppermint. That I did not expect, but show shitting, boy. Wow. Uh, so here's what I did. I did a video. You can see that's kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, and I just kind of let it sit and warm a little bit. And poured the second one. Let it warm up in the bottle, and I poured my second one here. So I want to let it get a little warmer. I had a little chill on the first one. So I want to see if if uh, I was actually tasting it backwards. You know, they they said that you get piney undertones with the dominant flavor being citrus grapefruit. I was actually getting it the opposite. I was getting more piney uh, than the grapefruit. I was just when tasting the grapefruit, but for me the grapefruit was the undertones, while the piney was was the dominant. But so I wanted to let it warm up to see if maybe I just had too much of a chill on to see if I was tasting it wrong. Uh, I tell you, I could tell you this though. Now that I've let it warm, I am getting much more of the minty aftertaste they described. I wasn't getting a lot of that before. I'm getting more of that now. I certainly am still getting peppermints on the aroma. Big, it's even bigger now, along with huge pine. Am I tasting it any different? Um, I don't know. It might be taste interpretation. Here's what I get. I'm gonna take, let me take a drink. I'm going to tell you exactly how this goes. I get a pine at first, and then you're surrounded by grapefruit, and then pine again. So, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe I am getting it the way they're describing it now. Uh, but I, I'm getting so much pine that I would uh, I, I hesitate to say it's an undertone. You know what I mean? If anything, it's equal to the, to the grapefruit. But I'm getting so much pine that I would hesitate to say it's an undertone, man. It's a background flavor. No, it is not. Uh, but it is good. It is. I mean, it is. here's the thing. You're going to like this beer if you like these flavors, if you like big citrus, if you like big pine, uh, maybe a little peppermint, because <laughs> that's different. Uh, uh, this is in your face, man. It's a sort of, it's aggressive. It's at, at seven and a half, uh, 7% 55. Um, not quite specs for a double IPA, but yeah, it feels like you're drinking a double IPA. It's that big. It's not a double IPA. Don't get me wrong, but I'm telling you, taste-wise, it feels like you are drinking one. 55 IBUs is very deceptive. This is huge. I mean, if you were to drink this and not look at those specs before, you, I mean, you would probably guess this at about 8%, 8 80, 85 IBUs because uh, it's huge. I mean, it doesn't feel like 55. It feels closer to 80, 85. It's big. I mean, it feels like, yeah, I mean, if this didn't have a label on it, someone just handed me this beer, I would assume I'm drinking somebody's double IPA. It's that big. Oh, good God. It, it's actually, yeah, this is one of those... I just start with a chill because I like to feel a beer warm up, but it's, uh, typically these beers actually are better a little bit warmer. Uh, I'm not talking, you know, 80 degrees. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people misinterpret what room temperature means. They're generally talking cellar temp, which is you know, which is generally between 50 to 65. But uh, I would I would say this one is probably best at about 55. But it, I, I'll tell you this, though, it is more assertive cold, because I started it probably at about 40. Uh, it was very assertive, and I enjoyed it a lot. It, it, uh, the flavors have melded together more as I've let it settle. So I'm going to stop this at part two and do one more video for my Zimco. Bye.